Hello, my name is Steven, and this is the new Polygon 3D Max add-on that lets you search, download, import assets directly into your 3D scene without the need of going to your browser. Here's how to install it. First, download the plugin using the link in the description below. Next, unzip the file and drag the MZP file into the 3D Max viewport. At this point, you'll see a floating button. I suggest dragging up to your toolbar at the top and docking it there for now. When you click the button, you'll be asked to log in. I suggest using the login via browser. The last step is to tell the plugin where you want your Polygon assets to download to. If you already have a folder in mind, go ahead and point the plugin to that folder directory. All assets downloaded from this point on will be stored in this same location, so you can refer to them at a later point. The first tab is our online assets, which is a live connection to our website itself. Everything you see in this tab is exactly the same as what you would find in our browser. So let's start off now by importing a free model. Go to models, free, and let's go ahead and purchase and download this candle now. The progress bar will tell you when the download is complete. Now that it's finished, all we need to do is drag and drop the candle into our scene explorer, and I'll import the mesh with all the corresponding materials on the fly. There's no longer a reason to mess around with our browser now that you have this file explorer. We've downloaded, imported an asset in seconds without leaving 3D Max. Let's do a texture next. Go to textures, free, download, and now let's try this free brick. I now need an object to apply it to. If you don't have an object, simply importing it will generate a plane so you can pre-visualize the asset in your scene. A great feature the plugin enables is the ability to preview textures right in your viewport. If you're not sure whether or not you want to buy a texture, you can preview it simply by clicking and dragging into your viewport and applying it to your mesh. This is a low-res watermarked asset, but it'll give you a good idea on whether or not it's right for your scene. In this case, I like the material, so I'm just going to click Purchase now. Finally, let's do this one more time with HDRIs. This is exactly the same process as we do for textures. I'm gonna to navigate to HDRIs, free, and now I'm gonna look for an HDRI I wanna purchase. I'm going to purchase it and import. And now you know the basics. If you wanna learn more information about choosing resolutions, changing preferences, click the link in the descriptions to read the plugin documentation. And click subscribe so you don't miss out on future updates from Polygon.